There's, 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 there's ladder trucks, there's trash trucks, and there's pumpers. This is called a pumper. And it has four men on board. It has a driver, it has a crew chief, and it has two little hand linemen. Mr. Fireman? Huh? We do, we do those things too. I go, wait a minute, I'm, I'm going to show you everything. Okay? Mr. Fireman? Oh, uh-huh. Uh, what does that say me to? You're going to have to listen to me and I'll tell you. Okay. Hold on just a second. Let me, let me get through talking. I might answer a lot of your questions, all right? Okay, you see the fire plug there? Um, yeah. Okay, the fire truck comes and he will park in front of that fire that fire plug and they have a big hose that they hook up from the fire truck, the fire truck here to the to the plug. The water goes in here, it goes in here, and then there's a big pump back here. And it pumps. It pumps out of these lines right here, and the firemen hook the hoses up to this. They can also do it, and I'll show you when we get to the other side. Andrew, listen. Andrew, you. listen. Uh, they can pump from the other side, or they can hook up from the other side, and they can also pump hoses. Depends on what side the fire is or where the plug is. So, anyway, this is an older truck, and it has, it pulls, you pull out to let the water go through this line. The new fire trucks, they're computerized, and the computer tells the water where it, what, what, uh, what holds the place. And they're usually closed up. You won't see this normal on a new truck. So, now, this truck has a one-inch line. That's for small fires. I, 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 listen. That's for small fires and grass fires. Most city fire trucks don't have them anymore. Out in the country, I live in Weatherford, and we still, most of the trucks will have these because they can stand right there and the truck can drive and he can, they can put the fire out. And then it has one and a half inch hose and in a minute I'll, I'm going to show you the back. It's a big hose. It's a big hose to it. Okay? Alright, hold on just a second. Well, that's the first. Can you save your question? Okay. This is a fire axe. Now this is a little bit prettier fire axe than what the normal fire axe right? it's a It's a regular fire axe, I just had a chrome. Okay? And they use this. When they get there and, the, and your door's locked, to you get in it. They will use this axe to break the door down. Or if they get up on the roof and they need to let the, if it's smoking, they got to get to the fire. So they'll cut a hole in the roof or saw a hole pull it out, and then they stick the fire hoses down in there so they can get to the fire. Listen. Do they fly down? Take your questions. Boys and girls. I, I, I saw fire before. Okay, okay you guys, hold on now. Let me finish my talk and walk around the hose, or walk around the fire truck so you guys, because I know it's cold out here. I don't want you guys to get cold, okay? Okay, let's walk down here. Now listen, Tracy. Okay, okay guys, what I have on right now is called bunkers. These clothes are to help reflect the heat off me from burning up. And they do a pretty good job, but it's still hot. A fire, a fi that house on fire right there is a thousand degrees. An airplane fire is two thousand degrees. That's hot. I guarantee you it's hot. And this type of bunkers, you can't wear fire in an airplane fire. We had a silver, uh, like I have a hood there, I'll show you in a minute. I forgot to show you the other kids. But we have a silver outfit that goes over this. And it doesn't, 
it just helps you a little bit more for catching on fire. But the main thing I want to tell you is, at night, or even during the day, you're in your house and you're half asleep or you're passed out or, or you know, a fireman comes in and he has clothes on like I've got. He's got a helmet like I, and he's got one of these masks on. That's oxygen. He's carrying oxygen in there. It's to help him find you, but when he finds you, he's going to take this mask off and put it on you so that you get oxygen. Is it full of water? No, no, this is full of oxygen. Air. This, no, this is an oxygen tank. So he will put this on you and get you out of the fire. He also may be having little green lights on. There'll be little green lights coming out. Whatever you do, if you're in your house, you see somebody like me coming in with these clothes on and this hat and this and little green lights, don't run. Stay where you're at. He's coming in to rescue you, okay? Don't run and hide. He's not a monster. He will look like one, but he's not. He's coming in to help you, okay? He's a Just fireman. remember that. He's a fireman, this yeah. But he won't look Can like a fireman, all right? Uh-huh. Uh, when, when you cut the trees and the down. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm like going to look for you, they know. You'll put the oxygen. Keep them warm that way. I never saw. He will pick you up and carry you out. Okay, get you away from the fire. Okay, come on around the back here real quick. big hose is and they pull the big hose in that's when you'd fight a building like that or a big building or any of the big fires those are three and a half inch and four inch lines they blow up it takes three firemen to hold them down that's why you don't go around them because if they fight go up in the air and run around like a snake and you don't run around the fire truck at all okay Come home, the fire trucks are there. Go to your neighbors and stay away. Okay? Yeah. Alright, come on around this other side here. Okay. This is the fire ladder. And all the new fire trucks have the ladders too. You just can't see it. They hide it. The only thing normally on the fire truck today is this. Lock that. This one is a little bit older fire truck so you can see it. This ladder is big enough or tall enough to get on the roof of your school or go to the second story window of a two story house. Okay? And then they'll take it off and run it up there and either cut a hole in the roof or go through the window and get you guys out. Okay? Another one of these big, uh, this is the inlet. This is where the, you can hook up a fire plug from this side too. Uh, actually, this is used for tankers. So, uh, this, this truck also holds 1,250 gallons, 1,250 gallons of water. And out there where I live, each of these fire departments have what they call tankers. They carry 3,000 gallons of water because you might not be around a fire plug. So they would hook a tanker up to this and, and he would 
put the water into this truck so you'd have 4,000 gallons of water to fight a fire on a plug river. That's what that's for. And here's two lines over here. You have a hose on this side. Up here is where the firemen ride. These are the, called the hand linemen. And the hand linemen ride in the back. Now the new trucks, they're all in a cab, but they're back here like this. There's usually two hand linemen, and then up front here, Okay, you guys are going to get in here in a minute and walk through it. This is where the crew chief sits. The crew chief is in charge of this fire truck. And there's a driver over there. And he operates the pump and drives the truck. That's all. And see that little black thing down there? That's a horn. And the crew chief will blow the horn. There's one on the other side too. But the, the driver just drives, okay? drives. Now he can turn the siren on, but the crew chief will hit the horn. So the driver, he just looks and he drives. This is the fire. Now there'll be a computer in here, and the computer will be telling the crew chief where they want this fire truck to stop. Where the plug is, where the fire is, the whole nine yards. Just like your mom and dad have a GPS, that's what they have in here. Okay? Alright, come on around the front now. Well, just give it a second. He's got to get it all ready. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. This is the, the speaker. It's designed at the fire. They need to tell people to get away or tell another fire truck or the firemen. But it's also used for the parents when they're driving down the road and they don't know where to go. When a fire truck pulls up behind them, the parents just stop. The fire truck will tell you where to move your vehicle. Just listen for him. Put your windows down, turn your radio off, and listen. If he'll tell you to move to the right, left, go through the red light, whatever. Okay, now I'm going to turn the siren on and I'm going to honk the horn. You guys ready? Here we go.